This video was brought to you by stntrading.eu. They enhance your trading experience by offering extremely fast automated trading services for both TF2 and CSGO. Check them out in the description below. Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. So today, I'm actually gonna be showing off two skins at the set I... Okay. Hey, I did it. See, I'm good. But yeah, today I'm going to be showing off two skins for you guys. They are basically the same thing, but there's two of them. And they're for different glasses, and it's actually pretty awesome. So, yeah, okay, I'm bad at sn sniper. Let's just ignore that. So, as you can see, we have this gigantic M9 bayonet. Now, this is the... I don't remember exactly what the skin's called, but the link for it will be in the description, so please go and check that out. I did try and record this before, wasn't happy with it, so I'm doing it again. But this is a gigantic M9 bayonet for this sniper, and this kind of started out because you guys absolutely loved the Karambit showcase, the Karambit knife skin showcase that I did a few days ago, and I decided, you know what, we'll try and find some more like CS skins that got put into TF2 and show them off as well. See if you guys like them as much, and if any of you will download them. So, I found this one when I was looking for M9 Bayonet skins. I'm still looking to, like, find some of the other knives in the game, because I think that would be kind of cool. Um, the butterfly knives in here haven't changed, which is alright, because I do have another skin regarding that. It would have been quite cool if they changed. I, it would have been a bit weird as well, though. Okay. <laughs> but basically, yeah. It's, it is quite well made. If if you wanted it to be like kind of accurate to what the M9 bayonet meant, is meant to look like, it would be much smaller, and it wouldn't be really a machete. And I don't really know. This looks like it's the size of this guy's torso. So I mean, yeah, as you can see in the bottom corner, look how look how big that knife is. Like what the hell? But yeah, either way. Here we have the second M9 bayonet skin that I'm showing you guys today, and that is for the butterfly knife. Now this one, I don't think is nearly as well made as the um, as the Karambi, but it still has its own backstab animation. Everything's still got its own animations and stuff. I just don't think that you could make something like an M9 bayonet work as well as something like, I don't know, the Karambi or the actual butterfly knife work as well in this game. Because it does, it does work quite well. The animation's a little bit slow. Since, like, for the CS one, I think. I feel like the CS guys pull it out a little bit quicker. Pull that, pull that M9 bayonets out a little bit quicker. Not, like, their penis. Um, <laughs> I don't even know. But, yeah. Either way, it still looks pretty awesome. Like, I mean, the fact that it's in the game and, you know, it mostly works and it mostly looks pretty good then that's pretty awesome. So obviously it, you, it works with all the skins and stuff like that. I think that was the festive skin I had on that isn't working. I don't think it shows up festives. It did show the actual skin though, which is what I kind of wanted. So I was hitting shots a minute ago, promise. Promise I was. But yeah, this is what it looks like, the regular version of it. And it's still pretty good. You can still use this thing and be perfectly happy with it. Maybe if you're not using skins and expecting a lot because I don't really like the look of that. But yeah, I mean, if you had an Australian one, for example, if I can find mine, here it is. It actually looks pretty awesome, and I don't know, it actually works quite well. I feel like the knife's just a little bit small on this side. I mean, first we showed off a, a skin that was far too big to be what it was meant to be, and this one just looks a little bit too small in this game. Like, if I move my view model closer, it still looks a little bit too small considering that the M9 bayonet in CS looks quite a bit bigger. So I mean, as we can see, like the apps app, right? Compare that to this. There's, there's quite a difference, even with the ambassador. Like there's, there's quite a size difference there, which normally I don't think would actually happen. So I mean, either way, it's still a pretty nice skin. You can still use it. It's, it's golden. It works. <laughs> and... It's, it's an M9 bayonet from CSGO in TF2, so there's that. If I can catch up to this guy, there we go. But yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you go check out the creators in the description. I don't make stuff like this. I just show it off trying to get some exposure to those guys who are trying to, you know, make their own skins and, like, make a name for themselves, I guess. So I'm just trying to show those guys off, show off their awesome skins, and... 
yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow with another video, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Anyway, see ya. Goodbye. I won't quit the elephants. Rolling, rolling.